And okay, so I'm gonna do one. Mm-hmm. We okay? Oh yeah, I didn't mean that. It's like this is like a massage. Wow. I'm choosing. It's not. Thanks. Hi everyone, you can see that there are a couple of things actually going on here. One, I have a guest, this is Ramon. He's Glow by Ramon on social media. He does cosmetic chemistry, uh, he's an esthetician, he works on product development. So go find him because you are gonna get the best educational content. But two, we have numbing cream on our faces because we're at the Tactic Clinic in London. We're gonna see Dr. Christine Hall. This thing is so hard to talk to you guys with because I am numbing. Um, we're gonna do some cosmetic treatments that you cannot get done in the United States, along with a few extras because it's Ramon's 30th birthday. How are you feeling? Numb, young, and nervous. Nervous because we're doing baby's first Botox. We're doing a lot more than just Botox. We'll get into that. We both did consultations with Dr. Christine Hall. I'm getting something called Redensity One. I'll let her explain it to you a little bit more, but it's technically like getting hyaluronic acid Acid, put into your face kind of surface level. So it's like a drink of water for your face. It's very hydrating for your skin, but you get a lot of extra benefits too. Like there's um, vitamins and minerals and antioxidants like glutathione. So it's gonna brighten my skin and just make it look overall better. At least that's what she's saying. So we're gonna hear from her a little bit about it. But Ramon, you wanna tell everybody what you're doing? Yeah, so my big concern was forehead creases. So we're gonna start with Botox, so literally baby's first Botox. Also, I had inquired about a tear trough filler, but she recommended what's basically the salmon sperm facial. It's polynucleotides. And so we're gonna do that for my under eye area. And then also I wanted to do a little subtle upper lip filler. You know what's funny is the conversation started with Dr. Christine Hall because I wanted to get the salmon sperm treatment since you cannot get in the United States and it's like so popular in Korea. And then she looked at my face and she was like, yeah, I don't really know if it's going to do anything for you. There are a couple of things, right? One, it's better for things like under eye circles. Two, you have to get it done. Um, I think she said back to back. You got to do it like once and then come back in for another treatment pretty quickly after that, like a couple of weeks after that, she said. I won't have the ability to do it since I am not gonna be here, but you're gonna be here. So he'll be able to, to really see those results. And you also gotta love a doctor who's like, no, it's not for you. Even if it is exciting, she basically shut me down. Botox time. Thanks, okay. I'm gonna mic Ramona up because I'm gonna step away and I'm gonna introduce you all to Dr. Christine Hall. Hi. She's gonna walk you through what she's doing. She's starting with Botox. I'm gonna go just sit down because I can't even talk with my face like this. So Ramon, <laughs> you ready? Yes. Yes. Let's yes. do this. We're gonna start with some Botox because mm -hmm. that's the easiest one to do. And then we're gonna move on to the lips. And then and that just gives a little bit longer for the numbing cream to do its thing and we'll do the polynucleotides at the end. Okay. <laughs> oh, bitch. Okay. okay I'm close so my eyes. You can, you can do whatever you like. Six little injections. Okay, if I start okay. crying, don't Six panic. Little, turn your head this way. Okay. First one, three, two, and you're not gonna, it's fine. That's it. And we're putting such small amounts, the idea is that actually you'll still have movements because your lines are not deep. We don't need to go crazy. Done. Oh Birthday Botox. Ooh. Let me clean those dots off. How was it? The pain was like a two. Two? Okay, this bodes well. This breath. one in the middle hurt the most. That's why I was like, oh fuck. Okay. But the other five were very chill. The needle's so tiny. So overall, good. I have to ask, since he did so well mm -hmm. with the Botox, we were secretly testing his pain tolerance for the poly polynucleotides, right? Yeah. So what do you think? Passed? I mean, that's fine, but if that was, a, if people are saying this is a three and this is going to be closer to an eight, and I mean, I, this was a two, this was very tolerable. I'm very concerned about the polynucleotides, but I'm but still, we're still team. We're the still real test will be after the lips, lips. because lips are going to level up to a maybe six or seven. Mm. So then if you're good with the lips, then you're going to be fine with it. Listen, nobody has jumped out of the chair and run. Okay. <laughs> Okay. This is the filler. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna put the needle on the end. This is a product called RHA Kiss. It's made by a company called Tioxane. It's a really interesting product. So RHA stands for Resilient Hyaluronic Acid. 
which means simply that the hyaluronic acid in there, it kind of bends and it moves, so it respects the natural expression of the face, but then it returns to its normal shape. Whereas a lot of the kind of traditional older fillers, they bend to a certain point and then they snap, and then it's very difficult for that filler to kind of return. So it just gives you a slightly more unnatural look, which is why we opt for this one. And we're just doing the top lip, and he's got an amazing lip shape already. So this is literally just about trying to put in a tiny little bit of volume. Three, two, one. Oh girl. Oh, he okay, that was up to like a five or six, I think. Yeah. Okay, we're still five or six. Yeah, that's not bad actually. Three, two, one. That one hurt a little bit more. Yeah, so the left side of the face, we don't know why this is in medicine. Whenever you do anything on the left side of the face, it hurts a little bit more. So generally, treatments on the left side are a bit more painful. Okay. And your mouth loosely. Oh, no. so yes. <laughs> oh, God. They do That's look good. good. Wait, wait. Seconds after. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, that is so subtle. It's Can really subtle. Do you see it? Uh, like the slightest bit. I mean, do you see it? A little bit. The thing is, for me, the reason why I wanted to do this is because sometimes if I like get like cuts or something in the top lip, it gets a little bit more swollen. That's the vibe I'm getting. So it looks very fresh or natural right now. So what you'll find is that over the next few weeks, the product integrates itself into your natural tissue and hyaluronic acid absorbs water. Mm -hmm. So although you will, even from now, the minute you put the needle in, you get a tiny bit of swelling, it will absorb a little bit of water. So this is probably what they will look like but from this point onwards even like in 10 minutes time they're going to look a bit bigger and a bit more swollen and again this is the reason why we give you time to get used to them and we bring you back in four weeks because then at that point if you decide actually I want a bit more we can do it and there's no problem but equally right now if you want a bit more in we can put a bit more because what you'll find now is that the subsequent injections shouldn't be as uncomfortable because you've got lidocaine in your lip. I feel the numbing. I actually think it looks good. Can I tell you? I think it looks good. I don't think you need more. Don't do more. I don't think more because yeah. you're going to see it swell up. It's going to freak you out a little bit. And then, and then you'll be like, okay, shell shock a little bit. Like, oh, okay. That's a, that's a lot. You're going to feel the way it starts to settle also. So I would let it settle. And then I know you're like, I'm numb now. Maybe I should just do it while I'm numb. Yeah. But honestly, but honestly like you've done it. that's all it would be again. Yeah. Just one, two, and we and can do it again. again. I think we're good. We're gonna let this chill, we're gonna let yeah. it cook. Right, perfect. <laughs> so we're gonna take your numbing cream off. Okay. And then we're gonna start. I'm gonna tell you all about this product. Okay. So it's made actually by the same company that makes the dermal filler that we've just done Ramon's lips with. It's a company called Tioxane. Redensity One is classed as a skin booster and it is a cocktail of a whole host of different things. Okay, mm -hmm. so we've got hyaluronic acid, which is, you know, that's the thing that we lose as we get older and that's what forms the basis of most skin boosters. Mm -hmm. and it contains vitamins and minerals and glutathione, antioxidants and a whole host of different things which just help to brighten your skin and give you a bit of a glow. You inject it all over the face. Mm -hmm. Ideally, it's a course of treatments, three treatments, three weeks apart. Yeah. I know we only have you for one. For my patients, what I've noticed, and this isn't a thing, this is just something that I've noticed, is that they see the biggest benefit with one. So this is considered a skin booster. This is a skin booster, okay. so it's not considered a bio stimulant it's not something that is going to change the volume or the contour or the shape of your face so it's not a filler either it's then. not a filler it's really nice because it it respects your natural movement it doesn't change the volume in your face so if you're somebody that's worried about starting off in aesthetics because you think you're not going to look like you or anything like that this is something that's really nice because it just optimizes your skin and we know that when your skin looks good it kind of covers a whole host of different things and different concerns I love that. The other thing with Redensity One is that you can inject it pretty much wherever you want and you can target areas. So if you've got lines in particular that you don't like, or for some people they don't like the lines around their crow's feet, mm. you can really go in and you can put the product in there. That just got me really excited. I okay. actually, Botox or you know, all the toxins don't actually stop this line right here anymore. There's a line right right here. Okay, let me never, get it It never it. ever goes away. And then I'm starting to get smoker's lines. Ever since yeah. I got rid of my filler, the smoker's lines have like 
started to show there. So we can definitely go in and we can target that. It comes with two syringes. There's one mil in each syringe. We use both. So we okay. use two mils of product for the face. You okay. can also use it in the neck, back of hands. Oh, you can do it in the neck. Chest. When you I can use back. it all over. Okay, so this needle, I think, Honestly, it's, it's the least scary. Oh, so is it like if a I show you, no, smaller. Oh, even Look. smaller. So I don't know. Can you see? Yep. Oh, that is so tiny. Because this goes really superficially, so it goes. Oh, I'm gonna be low. fine. Okay, I'll be fine. This is gonna be. This is gonna be nada. Let's see how much she cries. Yeah. How many? How many injections? Maybe eighty. Eighty. Something like that. It's a lot. Okay, so we're gonna start with the forehead. Mm-hmm. And okay, so I'm gonna do one. Mm-hmm. We okay? Oh yeah, I didn't mean that. This, like, this is like a massage. Wow. No two thing. It's not. Nice. So for a density one, you just want to space it out a little bit. So you can see the little bumps that are forming. And then what happens is they kind of dissipate under the skin and form this like blanket of skin booster. So as long as they're sort of evenly-ish spaced across the skin, there's no real rule to it. Obviously we avoid any of the bigger blood vessels and things like that. I love it, Susan's having a rest. Mm -hmm. So that's half the forehead done. Oh, we're on that left side and now I feel a little. It's yeah, not, it's not it's the left though. again, right? So Dr. Wasim famously did this one Halloween and then went out <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> this gonna look that freaky? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that looks, I look sexy. Yeah. <laughs> the thing I do is I change the needle quite frequently because even though it sounds counterproductive, it gets, it gets blunt and a sharper needle, you feel less. Yeah. Turn your head slightly away from me. So I've done a few around the eye, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and do them again. Okay. There I feel like little... So as it gets closer here, you'll feel it a little bit pinchier here. Uh -huh. probably. Why is that? I don't know. I think it's just a more sensitive place, but that's that's always the place where people feel it more. So we're one syringe down. We've done the forehead, one side of the face, so I'll come around and do the other side. Mm -hmm. Wild. Mm -hmm. So bring your lips together for me. It's gonna be a bit pinchy on the top lip as well, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, good, and relax. Blow kiss again and relax. Oh, you are a great patient. This yeah. is gonna hurt here, right? No, no, it's not that bad. Blow kiss again and relax. These are numbing kisses, by the way. <laughs> I'm gonna get you the mirror because I want you to just show me whether there's other lines that we're missing. So if you look at your mouth now and you do your blow kiss. Oh, yeah. I think we've managed to get into all of the Oh yeah, I think lines. you hit, yeah, I think you hit the... And then if you have a look around the eyes. Oh, this guy right here. This one underneath as well. Right there, okay. yeah. That one's, it's, it hurts, I know, but I love I'm how willing to deal with it. We've given it a gender. I've got the tiniest bit left. Well, just check that I've done where you wanted me to do. Mm, I mean, I think, well, I, I guess I've got that guy right there. It's good to see actually where my lines pop up actually, when my Botox mm. goes out. I can actually show you what Making the lines you focus are. focus on it. Frown again for me. And relax. Done, we're all out. Let me yeah. clean you up. I look like um, Pinhead. You look like you've... What's that Hellraiser yeah. character? Yeah. Pinhead. Yeah, you don't look like you came out too well. That's sexy. Mm. That's, yeah. that's sexy. <laughs> Ramon is next. We've got one more treatment. Let's listen, five minutes from now, this is all done. So a cannula is a blunt ended needle. So it looks nowhere near as big, but like on a tiny miniature size, it looks like a flute. The reason we use a cannula is it's safer. So it doesn't have a sharp point on the end. So the chance of piercing a blood vessel is less. It also means that we can get to more places without doing lots of injections. So actually what I'm hoping, or what should be the case is that we do one injection point the cannula goes in and then you inject as you pull back 
you go back in, you inject as you fall back and you do little threads. But when at the end, all you should see from, you'll be a bit swollen as we said, but all you will actually have in terms of skin breaks is one break either side of the skin. So that's the benefit because the other way of doing polynucleotides, which is completely legitimate way of doing it, and this is how they do it in Korea, is a bit like how we've done Susan's Redensity 1, dot, 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 dot. But to be honest, it's a little bit more traumatic and each injection point stings. Whereas with the cannula, once it's in, when I tell you, and I will tell you when I'm going to inject so that you can just be ready, we inject, we pull back, and there's, there's that one injection point done. Okay. Okay? If I say mean things to you, I'm so sorry. That's not it's me It's okay. Speaking. We'll be friends at the end. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to take the numbing off. So your numbing has been on for a really good length of time now. Oh, girl, I cannot feel you on my under eye area yeah. at all. I'm not surprised. So I'm nervous. The tea is, the injection is not going to hurt. I mean, it's going to hurt. But with the... The main pain aspect of this is going to be the actual samus sperm. Dr. Christine's going to, every time she goes to inject specifically, she'll let me know, but that's what I'm most worried about. The lips, I'd rate five or six. The forehead Botox, two, two and a half. But allegedly the under eye with the salmon sperm is like up to an eight. I'm a baby. It's supposed to hurt because it's acidic, meaning that it's going to feel like it's burning when it's in. So that's what makes it different. Like, I feel totally fine because the initial burn was like that sting of like the needle going in and then like the initial, I guess like injection part, but then yeah. it goes away. Whereas yours is like after. Mm -hmm. So you might not really feel much as it's happening, Hopefully. right? Mm, okay. I will. Okay. Just kidding. <laughs> Thanks, stuff. Okay, so you're gonna feel a sharp scratch. This shouldn't be too what bad. Is this? this is a tiny needle. This just makes the little hole, okay? So three, two, one. Is that it? That's the little needle hole. Oh my God, I really felt that. What I want you to do is just open your eye for me. Mm. Feels a bit weird. I felt that a little bit, yeah. Okay, you're doing good. Three, two, one. Squeeze those balls. Product's going in. Mm -hmm. That's it. Stinging, right? Oh, I don't feel anything. Okay, good. Amazing. Oh my gosh. I feel that. Brave. Can I close my eyes or keep them open? You can close them now, yeah. Ew, I feel like spurts of stuff. It's the sound, honestly, that gets me sometimes. So what I'm doing now is I'm just trying to re-angle. So I'm getting into that because you said that you felt a little bit hollow here. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is put it's strips. Mm. I'm sorry. You're doing so well. I will say I feel like the lips hurt a little bit more than this. Oh. But I'm numbed, so. Mm. <laughs> it feels like when you pop one of those zits that are like really deep in. Ooh, yes, girl. Exactly. Just think smooth, think smooth. One side is done. Oh, okay. That was like a six, but I am numbed. But when you, you know, well, we numb everybody. So numbing is standard. So you did really good. Oh, thank God. I think you can see that that one looks slightly hollower, uh, slightly hollower here. Yeah, can you see that difference? Absolutely, yeah. Wow. That's why. Can you actually see a difference right now? This is just liquid, right? So this is, yeah, so this is the thing. So the difference that you're seeing now is primarily because of the fluid that's there. Yeah. A lot of that fluid then gets reabsorbed mm -hmm. and the DNA fragments then start doing their thing. That's yeah. when your body kicks in and starts producing its own collagen and so elastin. don't get too comfortable with the fluid that's in there. You know what? I hyped myself up expecting a lot of pain. It wasn't as bad as I thought. And I think overall the results look really good, but I'm more excited to see in the next coming weeks how everything kind of settles. Yeah. What about you? Um, well, okay, well, I feel fine. I look a little bit wild, but I was warned. And I have to say, I do love that Dr. Christine gave you a heads up. And I actually think it's good that she made you feel worried about the pain because you expected the worst and it turned out to be not as bad. 
right? Correct. So here's the thing. We're not going to be together because I'm leaving London and you're also going on a trip. There's going to be a bunch of things happening, but we can't show you the final results today. So we're going to both film some, some separate clips and put these into the video. So we'll see maybe like four weeks from now, we'll do a little touch base and show you what we look like. Sounds good. Hi guys, I'm here two weeks after the initial visit with Dr. Christine. I'm actually back in her office right now, but just to give you an update as to where we are after the first session, in terms of under eyes, I think they look okay with the polynucleotides. I think she recommended at least two, if not the full three sets, so today will be the second set. But beforehand, here's what we're looking at. I think they look a little bit smoother, but for me specifically in this outer part where the orbital bone is, I made a note that to me that looked a little bit hollow and it's looking a little bit more improved. So I'm excited to see with another one or two sessions how that looks overall. Lip-wise, today's actual like MO is to get the lips a little bit more, because to me, there's a little bit more definition here, but I want more fullness in like this area. And then in terms of Botox, I think I still have a lot of mobility in this part of my forehead, which is understandable. She focused more up here, which that part, I can't move as much. I'm not gonna do Botox today, I don't think, only because I have to film in about a week. And I'm paranoid this could go wrong. I don't want anything bad to happen before I have to be on camera. So yeah, today is the polynucleotides and the lip. We're quickly, quickly done with the second round of the polynucleotides and the lip filler. Based off where we are today, how much lip filler did we do total? 0.25. But two. we've only done your top lip, remember? Correct. And I wanted them more round, more full, which I think that's where we're at. And then we did round two of the polynucleotides. I mean, you said you noticed a little bit more fullness in the outer part. Definitely. And I think this time you're slightly more swollen, as we said, because mm -hmm. you've you've got a bit more fullness this time. There's less of a hollow. I mean, you barely had one, but less of a hollow for the product to go into. Mm -hmm. That's all going to settle down. The lips 0.25 is the total that you've had over the two sittings. Mm -hmm. And the Botox, we agreed to leave. We're going to see how it goes. And we'll top that up again in three months. Okay, so I just want to show you my skin. This is about six six, seven weeks out from that treatment with Dr. Christine Hall. And my skin does look really dewy. I just did my skincare routine. I do not have any sunscreen on and I don't have any makeup on. Did I see a huge difference with my skin after the treatment? I'm not completely sure, but Dr. Christine Hall had mentioned that you're supposed to get a couple more treatments done a few weeks apart and I wasn't able to do that, but I will throw out there, my skin does have this dewiness to it. Obviously I'm using products that help my skin look like this as well. But soon after I got that treatment done, I went on a trip to Greece for two weeks where I was outside on the beach all the time in the heat with my kids. And then I got back to Miami, arrived in the hottest time of the season and my skin continued to look really good. So I feel like my skin got a really good boost. Since it's a skin booster, I feel like my skin did get some kind of a boost from getting that treatment done. Considering that for me, it wasn't very painful and it was a fairly easy treatment and there wasn't really this recovery time. By the next day, I was looking pretty good. You know, I, I would say that it's a nice treatment to get done if you just want to boost your skin. You want a little bit more hydrated, smoother, plumper looking skin. For me, I loved also that it had the minerals and everything, the antioxidants that were gonna help to, you know, keep my my melasma, my dark spots from coming back, which was a big deal for me because I was going to a beach vacation. This is what it looks like a few weeks later. And I think it's good. I definitely would try the treatment again. Now, let's say that you're a person that wants to go in and see Dr. Christine Hall, for instance, and you're considering something like Botox because you have really prominent lines that are bothering you, this is not the treatment that I would do. This is a really nice just booster for your skin. I didn't really feel like I needed to get 
much else done. I was due for my tox treatment, but I, I wanted to wait till I got home and saw my usual injector. Not that Dr. Christine Hall, Dr. Christine Hall could have um, done an amazing job, I'm sure. But I like to stick, I'm very loyal with my people with the specific treatments that I get done. But that's especially what I like about Dr. Christine Hall. You heard me say that I originally approached her asking for polynucleotides, the salmon sperm. And she was like, it's not gonna benefit you if you don't have major dark circles. But then when she talked to Ramon, she was like, this could be something that you would benefit from. So I really love that she was customizing the treatments for us and picking what would work best for each of us. But speaking of Ramon, you should definitely go follow him on social media because he's been posting more videos. You can continue seeing the progress of his treatments. He was such a champ for baby's first Botox and also for so much more because he got filler in his lips and then got the polynucleotides. I'm gonna put all of his information and also Dr. Christine Hall's information in the description box so that you can find them because they were both fantastic in this video. And I, I thought it was fun. It was a little bit different, a little bit more casual, just kind of following us to go get the treatments done. But yeah, this is how I'm looking. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to follow me on social media. I'm at Susan Yara. Subscribe to my channel and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.